Uh, Roach! Where are you? There you are. Nope. I'm over here, dummy. Come, come you dumb horse. I don't want to talk to you. Come on, dummy. All right, all right. Let's like, maybe, wait, maybe I can fast travel there. Where am I going? Oh, way over here. Yeah, I should probably fast travel. Can I fast travel? Yes. I cannot travel here. Oh, well, fuck. Didn't I do all this already? You can have it. You must. Just find a fast travel signpost. Do I need to be at a signpost? As they're still talking about it, it looks like my macaroni analogy went over well with the chat. Yeah, man, I like it. I've been to this city before. Thought I have, at least. Hey, chat? Help me out with uh, fast travel again. It's been a while since I've fast traveled, and like, like I don't super need it, but uh, do I need to be at a signpost? Oh, that's and that's right. I want to go. Okay, you have to be at a signpost. I have to be at a signpost. Thank you, thank you. Um, it's been a while. Are there any other '90s aughts shows we recommend that aren't Star Trek? Well, Farscape, Quantum Leap. It's like '80s. Oh. Is it? It's like late '80s. We probably yeah. went into the '90s. Is it? It was on a while. Is it? Chat? <clears throat> Chat's recommending X Files. I guess it's not a, it's not a bad recommendation. Yeah, there's not there's not a. Does it have to be science fiction? Because yeah, Seinfeld's great. Ooh yeah. Sliders. Sliders is a great premise, and the show never really lives up to it. Ah, uh, there was some fun. <laughs> There was some fun, but Sliders is the show where the the kid and the scientist guy and his friends get trapped, going to different alternate dimensions, trying to find their way home. Yeah, from, from different parallel Earths. Yeah, and you know, you can give at least one season of Sliders a bit of a bit of hokey fun. Oh yeah, yeah. and then and then after that, you could say that it slides. Hey. -o! Find the lovers meeting. Oh, I can do this again. That's right. I don't think I was strong enough to do this last time. But I'm level 11 now. Oh, shit. There is so much. Look at all this shit to do, man. Look at all of my open quests. This is crazy. Did either of you ever get into Lost? I avoided it like the plague because I smell a mile away that they had no idea where they were going with it and it was only going to let people down in the end. And then my predictions came true and I felt justified. I watched Lost. I, lo <laughs> I liked a lot of Lost. Uh, okay, so here, here's, here's a little thing. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, much like a lot of shows during that time period... Lost uh, one hugely suffered from the writer strike because mm -hmm. it, it had big gaps, and then when they came back, there was a bit of a reorganizing and a reshuffling. Two, Lost was also part of that awkward years where where they were trying to make um, they were they were trying to combine season long story arcs with an ever continuing oh excuse me I burped with an ever continuing um, narrative. Uh, instead of having one encapsulating story just for a season. But Lost has one of the greatest pilots on television ever. Yeah. The pilot episode of Lost is some of the most fantastic television you will ever see. So I've heard. So I've heard. 
it absolutely suffers. Like there's a lot of bullshit with Lost. They ask a lot of question and questions and don't answer and, and nearly any of them. That being said, by the time you get to the end of Lost, if you are invested in the characters, it wraps up the characters very well. Not necessarily the stories, but okay. the characters. Okay. So I, I can see a lot of people being really frustrated by Lost because it doesn't ramp up the stories very well, but it does the characters very well. So there's there's a lot of shows, a lot of, th a lot of things I just never got around to. Yeah. Lost is one I actively avoided. Sure. Sure, sure. I can see that. Alright. I can see that. Uh, I, I still think uh, at, at very least watch the uh, watch the uh, oh right, that's right, I have to be at a signpost. Watch, watch the pilot? Watch the pilot. It's That pilot is damn good. I don't have to watch, watch the pilot. I know we crashed the damn plane. It's the premise. Well, but what happens after the plane crashes? No, the pilot. Oh fuck of, you! Of the plane. <laughs> it is Father's Day, so all the dad jokes are welcome. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> great pilot, great pilot, really great mystery. But then, yes, prepare for some disappointment after the pilot. Best one of the best pilots in all of all of television now. <laughs> Those first couple of episodes, I, like actually, you know what? I I would even say. Here's what I would say of Lost, uh, the first two seasons. Yeah. Solid fucking gold. Yeah. Solid gold seasons. Great characters. Great mysteries. Really neat world building. After that, the writer strike hit, and everything got all wobbly. It, I think it picked itself back up, but those first two seasons, solid fucking gold. Okay. After that, just imagine whatever you want to imagine happens, because, yeah, it gets a little dicey. Also not science fiction, but from, from well, a little bit, maybe maybe too recent to be aughts. Okay. The Office. Oh, sure, The Office is pretty good. Office is great. Oh. Venture Brothers. Well, when did that start? Late aughts. That started. <laughs> Late aughts. Late aughts. Late aughts. Discover location. Okay, we're gonna help. Uh... Oh, here it is. Eh. I'm I'm at a signpost. Oh, do I have to get up? Sorry, Roach. I gotta leave you here. Excuse me. Venture Brothers was 2003. Wow. So much time in between seasons. This show started apparently in two thousand three. It's only it's only five seasons. <laughs> There's only five seasons. <clears throat> yeah, thirty rock. Thirty rock is a really interesting show. I never I never watched all of Thirty Rock, but uh, occasionally I'd catch an episode here or there, and it's not. 30 Rock is not a show that is super funny all the time, but it always has one bit that makes the entire show worth it. Yeah. One bit that is so funny that the entire episode is worth it. 30 Rock. Yeah. I never I never watched the full thing for some reason, but overall, it's pretty good. All right. Let's go hunt some witches. Oh, chat, Rome was awesome. Rome was a show on HBO about the, the Roman Empire. Okay. Can't draw any meaning from this rabble's boring. Perhaps they talk some sense after a few lashes. Well, spit it out. Where'd they go? To the village in the swamp, Lord. Lass rode with him, asking after her mother, Constant. Lass? We must go there at once, get on to Rome is like a high-budget period piece slash soap opera. Hmm. It's, it's great. Yeah, it's fun. Alright, let's go. I'm with you. Oh, 
these high seeds think up next. The crones exist. You'll know that soon enough. Right. More likely some mad old wenches making mincemeat of peasant minds. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them. Mm. Care for them out of the You crimes. know. It sounds like the Baron is trying to uh, downplay the existence of witches after his unborn son turned into a zombie and we had to fight ghosts and stuff. And it's like, <laughs> you know, that's just not consistent characterization. Like, you just got done fighting ghost babies and zombie stuff. Like, yeah, witches exist. We can get there. It's not that hard of a leap. Well, this is a world where... Zombie babies and ghosts might be an everyday part of life. Right. But he's never seen a witch. Of course zombies and ghosts are part of the natural world. He sees that shit every day. <laughs> he's never seen a fucking witch. Loot the corpses. Give me a moment, boys. <laughs> Gotta take a, uh, what, monster claw? Nice. Jack, did you already do the quest in the nearby town to find out the history of these witches? Plus the deer with the glowing red eyes yet? Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. Uh, it's been a while. It's been, it's been a, a, maybe a good couple of months since I've played. But I think I did. So for all the non-virgins here, says blow, blow ball thirty-two. Yeah, yeah. Can you explain to me why I should start watching Star Trek? You know, for all the non-virgins. Uh, oh, non-virgins. Never mind. I got that backwards. I thought he was trying to call everyone who watched Star Trek a virgin, but I was saying they aren't. For all the non-virgins, non why should I watch it? What a weird way to phrase that. Unless it was just meant to be like a double reverse. Like somebody who wanted to be a jackass and say, Well, the virgins explain why I should like Star Trek. That's what I thought it was. Wait, for all the non vir Wait, I'm sorry, I don't understand. I still don't quite understand. Either either they meant it as a joke by reversing the dickishness of it. Yeah. Or they were trying to be a dick and they seriously fucked it up. I think they seriously fucked it up. I think, I think what he's saying is... He, that person is a non, wait, is a non-virgin and they don't know what Star Trek is. No, he's saying people that watch Star Trek are virgins. Then why is he asking non-virgins why they, he should watch Star Trek? That implies that the people who watch Star Trek aren't virgins. Yeah. I think you got that backwards, dude. If he's, if he's trying to be an asshole, then yeah. his logic, the non-virgins don't watch Star Trek, and they wouldn't be able to help him anyway. I think he's saying, like, for all the non-virgins, can you virgins explain to the non-virgins about Star Trek? I think, but I think he got it backwards. Okay. I don't know. And he probably watches Star Wars. Yeah. So there you go. Well, does it, here's, here's a question for that person, Rich. Does it count? Uh, can you be a non-version if you only fuck yourself? <laughs> Does that count? Witcher, why are you here? What? So much fire! Don't make it travel like that. It has nothing to do with Star Wars. Look, I, I'm just taking my cheap shots when I can. I don't, I don't seriously mean anything by it. Don't think you have anything to fear. Brought your new friends with you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. 
won't need to protect you from me. Tamar, he meant Star Trek Virgin, as in he's never watched it. Okay, that makes sense. Like he hasn't like popped his Star Trek cherry? Oh, I just. I completely forgot that I even met Tamara, I'll be honest with you. This is the problem with taking such a long break in, in a game like this. I might have told Tamara that I wouldn't come back, but... Holy shit, Rich looks like an asshole now. That was phrased very awkwardly. It was phrased very awkwardly. It, it was phrased as if... Because uh, uh, for I guess for those who don't know, stereotypically, uh, you know, sci-fi nerds are referred to as virgins. And so, you know. What business? Bear wants to find his wife. Um... Your father, he wants to find his wife, your mother. Really. He pay you much to be his yes man. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tomorrow. He was making fun of Star Trek fans, <laughs> calling them virgins. So, for all the non-virgins, why watch it? Right. He's tooling with you, sir. That's what I believe. Well, considering happening. all the confusion, he wasn't doing a very good job. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village. Which is an asshole. I mean, you know, yeah. But occasionally. Sure. sure. Somewhere deep down, I have a heart of gold. Eh, hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> It's an you, asshole with a heart of gold. You, you dig that deep doesn't even matter. <laughs> Don't. Over here. Did anything at E3 intrigue me? I mean, E3 is always trailers that don't tell you too much. So sometimes it's hard to get intrigued. Yeah. I was I was most most thrilled with with Doom. Just the announcement. And it's only been two years. I kind of assumed I wouldn't hear anything about it till like a year from now when sure. we first start hearing about it. So I'm glad to hear about it. Well, I mean, we still have a few months before we really hear anything about uh, yeah, it. Yeah, I so. won't get truly hyped until we see it in August. Right, right. So, but that music in that trailer is just fantastic. <laughs> well played, it. I begged. Mother, it's me. Do you recognize me? What, what's happened to her? I said I'd do it all. Give it here. I'll scrub it again. Scrub it clean. Mother! Something's coming. Get ready. Oh, shit. Prepare for a fight! Wolves. Didn't sound like wolves. Because it was. Da -da 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 -da. My sword is all bustified. Rich, have you heard of Phoenix Point? XCOM ripoff from the creator of the original. Out next year, looks really good. I heard about it last year. I haven't I haven't seen anything recently. It looks good. And I know technically he doesn't own XCOM, but if he's the creator, can you really call it a ripoff? I mean really? 
He gets a pass hmm. for for ripping off the thing he created. Get ready. What was that John Fogarty court case? Oh, I don't know about this. Where um Where uh when he was in is that John Fogarty Creedence Clearwater Revival? Yeah. He uh, he got sued because a song that he wrote as John Fogarty sounded too much like a Creedence Clearwater revival song that he wrote that he wrote but no longer owned the rights to. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so he ha he had to prove that two songs that he wrote were different enough in a court of law. <laughs> well, I wrote them both, and I can say honestly that they're just different songs. Exactly, and so he had to <laughs> he had to play he had to play for a judge why the songs were different. Two songs that he wrote that kind of sounded alike. <laughs> great as you can clearly see this guitar riff is this and i know it because i wrote it and this guitar riff is this move, move you will they stream jump force i know i know you think it'll be ah look at that thing look at that thing Oh, fuck yeah! That's great, monster! That's, <laughs> sorry! Yeah. Sorry, I just fucking love no, that's that monster! Fine. Ah, it's great! Have some fire! Oh, I don't have any fire yet. Have some fire! It would mostly just be me wondering why things are a big deal. <laughs> like, we already right. rarely play fighting games. I think, uh... I think Injustice is a big, uh... Is uh is acceptable because you know we can. There's a lot of comic book talk to be had in there. Yeah. And just superhero stuff in general, we're pretty we're pretty okay with. But uh, fire! Excuse me, guy. Reminiscent of the tree beast in Thief Two. Ah man, he's great. Look at him. I still didn't even know what that fucking thing looks like because when I caught a glimpse of it coming around the corner, I just started fucking running. Right? Uh, ooh, this one. Magic trap! Uh, oh, you're trapped now, mother! Oh, nope. Oh, apparently, you're not. Never mind. Uh, oh shit, how do I... What? What is happening? Gosh, dang it. Nope. Fuck, how do I, uh... How do I use anything? <laughs> Am I a fan of the recent thief? No. Pie says thanks for all the great t content. Thanks for all the great content. Fuck. Thank you. <clears throat> Yug one says small tip jack. Yeah. Get general abilities gourmet. Food lasts 30 minutes. And rage management. Cast spells using ability. Abilities. Lots of fiends to me. Whew, that was great. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches. When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Enough. Mm. I'm taking her away. She's my wife. She'll return home with me. You're welcome to come with us if you wish. Don't touch her. We leave this cursed place now. She's sick, weakened. Where would you take her in this state? Oxen first? Any thoughts on Neo? Oh? Know how to we did a whole episode about it. Yeah. You can listen to our uh, well thought out and edited comments. What are you guys thinking of the World Cup so far? I'm I'm not. Just now. A dark spell. It must be. Help her, Witcher. I beg you. Not a, not even a little bit. Voodoo Mama Ganza says, 
Jack, Voodoo Mama Gonza. I really enjoyed your Skyrim stream. As someone who's played okay. it consistently since it was released, since it was released, mm -hmm. it was great seeing someone play it for the first time. Oh, great! I really enjoyed playing The Witcher Three in Polish with English subs. Tell Biscuit I love him. Also, I'm playing this on normal. Uh, yeah, no, you know, like Sky Skyrim, I can I can see it already. You know, I'm only a few hours in, but I can see the appeal already. Big world, lots of options, a ton of replayability. You know, play who plays different races. You know, play it. Uh, you, you play the same game but a different way. I can I can see it already. I don't know if I can get over this big dumb combat though. In this. Uh, in in uh, Skyrim. Oh, Skyrim. In Skyrim, it's just like, it's just so clunky. You know what? I, what I was doing a lot is you get, you know, one one hand I had a, a sword in or an axe or something, and then the other hand has like a magic attack, right? Yeah. And so what I found myself doing is just like you know like tapping someone on the head with my axe and then backing away and shooting fire at them yeah. until they died, and then you know tap tap <laughs> that, like that was my entire fighting strategy. In Skyrim, yeah, yeah, <laughs> which worked pretty good. This is no dark spell, I'm afraid. You know, the one thing I remember from Neo, She's the from item Neo? item management, all those garbage items that got thrown at you. Oh god! Yeah. Hundreds of hundreds of swords with minor stat differences. <laughs> uh, you get yes. thirty of them every minute. You have to check the menu to see which one's slightly more powerful. Yep. That was irritating. And then you have to go to the certain place to, like, grind them into, like, money or souls or whatever that might be useful. Yeah. I shall take her there. Wise man with the gift of healing. Ooh. I got a decision to make here, Rich. So... The the his wife the mother yeah. of of the lady who's there is is a little crazy yeah and the 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 daughter was like oh it's obviously a spell and the witch was like no nah, she just lost a baby her husband was abusive she was like tortured by witches she's just nuts yeah and so now now the husband's like oh I'll take her to a hermit he's got a gift of healing and... your call what are the what are the potential downsides. If I say worth a try, then that's basically me throwing in with letting the wife go with her husband, who we know has been abusive in the past. Okay. And so I'm thinking makes no sense, leaves an opening for the daughter to be like, then she should come live with me and get away from you. Okay. Because that's because I completely forgot that the daughter was in this situation yeah. when I started this storyline. So um, that's what I'm going to try. Okay. Makes no sense. It's no use. Doubt a healer can do anything for her now. Doubt anyone can. I must do something. I shall go with you. That's impossible, sadly. Why? You have duties. Duties deriving from your commitment to the Church of the Eternal Fire. Once we finish our work in Velen, we return to Oxenford. You said you'd save my mother. And I kept my word. Your father can care for her now. Mm. He care? You know him. You know what he did to her. He swears to be a changed man. And in his eyes I see true sorrow. Remorse for his sins. He mm. will care for her. And you've a new life and new duties to the eternal fire. Fear not. All will be well. Yeah. I will not touch drink. I will find the hermit. And once she is herself... Oh, so he'll take her to the hermit no matter what? You. Nah. Swear it. You have my word, child. Yeah. When you get later into the game, crank the difficulty up. You can easily build a <coughs> tornado of green smoke and fear. No, you know what? I'm fine with the difficulty. I'm, I'm just enjoying the world. The little bit of combat I have. No, nah, it's fine. I don't necessarily to kill monsters. What? It doesn't matter who posted the notice. The coin has to be right. That's what is this? Which are I don't know. debate. Their I just been quiet so you can hear it. They just get on with it, and then pick up the coin pouch tossed at their feet, and set off on their way. Folk don't expect witchers to save them from themselves. 
Okay. Thank you, Witcher. Despite all. May the eternal fire guide and protect you. Oh. Farewell. <laughs> Guy's crotch got in the way there. That's that, <laughs> oh, that nice shot. And whoopsie. How many gay kisses would you give that? I mean, that was that was a significant. <laughs> that was one big gay kiss. If, if that's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> That was a that was a down south gay kiss, if you know what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> I, I think the gay community calls that kiss in the carpet. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, no, like I'm, I don't. the The gameplay's nice. I like the monsters. I'm okay with the battle. And you know what? I I kind of like, as far as like upping the difficulty. I'm I kind of like being the badass here so i'm just okay on the okay. on the normal difficulty okay i don't i don't need the super challenge here tc brady says hey bert and ernie i recently watched blues brothers for the first time i fucking loved it such uh, a great film yeah yes what is your opinion on the film as a chicago native heidi 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 hi heidi 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 ho heidi 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 ho where did we kill that big guy? Uh, I love the Blues Brothers. It's an amazing film. Probably better if you're familiar with Chicago, yes, but I think it's a great film otherwise, too. Sure, you know, the... The, the sheer amount of cars they fucking obliterate in fucking downtown Chicago right? in the era before CGI is astounding. Yes. Uh, and uh, the the la the later part of that film when they're driving on the freeway, yeah, that was actually filmed here in Milwaukee on the yet to be completed Marquette Interchange. Yeah. Uh, so like yeah. that's that's the highway that is currently in downtown Milwaukee. Those Milwaukeeans love shoving their foot in the Blues Brothers door mm -hmm. for that one shot. The one shot, we got it. <laughs> I had somebody try to tell me that it was filmed in Milwaukee because of that one fucking shot. What? Blues Brothers? That's a Milwaukee movie. No, I'm sorry. The one shot was. <laughs> it counts. Those are, those are some major streets they closed off downtown by the L2. Yeah. In Chicago. Uh, I think, I, I, like, everyone can admit, no matter where it was filmed, great, great fucking movie. Great fucking movie. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Uh, all right. Great. Let's go take care of, I think on stream, one of the things I was trying to take care of was this, uh... Was it this one? Jen, it was Jenny of the Woods, and now I think I'm at an appropriate level where I can finally take care of Jenny of the Woods. I gotta fight a big witch. So I think I'm ready for Jenny. Jenny from the block. Let's uh, meditate a little bit. There we go. How are you feeling tomorrow? Give me a moment. I must gather my thoughts myself. Alright, fine. Fuck it. I'm out. You know what? I'm out. Fast travel. Probably my favorite touch in the movie was, you know, at the end when they finally get to the Daily Center, Daily Plaza. Okay. And they, you know, they get out of the car and the car just falls apart. <laughs> as soon as they're done as with it. As soon as they're done with it, the car just falls apart from all the shit they put it through. It's it's a it's a lovely we're done with the car in the movie now. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. And uh, Steven Spielberg cameo at the end. He's the guy in the office. Oh, that, they, that they get the receipt from. It's been so long who, since I've seen it. Who takes his sweet time processing their payment as the fucking National Guard is swarming up the stairs to get at them. <laughs> <laughs> it's been way too long since I've seen it. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's just save. I think I've dealt with this before, and I remember, like, I, I I started doing this quest way too early, 
and I wasn't necessarily prepared for it. Frank Oz at the beginning. Yeah, he's the the cop on the other side of the desk, or not really desk, the, the area where they're giving uh, John Belushi his possessions back. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wasn't the only John Landis movie he cameoed in. Frank Oz? Isn't he like a mortician in Innocent Blood, too? Or not a, not a mortician, but a uh, medical examiner. I'm pretty sure he's in Innocent Blood. in most of his films. Okay. I'll have to keep my eyes out for more Frank uh, <laughs> Frank Oz cameos in sure. John Landis movies. This isn't going to work. I'm not ready yet. Kendo says, do you guys ever stream Max Payne and or Max Payne 2? They are two of my favorite computer games from the aughts. If you can't wait for Bullet Time, the game, to come out, they're your games. Oh, uh, I don't know if there's no, there's no plans to. I have, I have nothing against playing Max Payne. Uh, yeah, I remember, I mean, back in the, uh, in the, what, PS2 days when it came out? I, uh, yeah. I think I played it a little bit. One thinks you're gonna die, Jack. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna die, so I think they'd be correcting that assumption. Uh, I could, you know, because uh, I'm not doing very well here. Uh, she keeps. Uh, I can only do damage with her when she's inside this pink, uh, this purple circle, <clears throat> and uh, she keeps regenerating health. Shit. So I feel like I'm gonna die. And uh, yep. Gosh dang it. So I think people are correct in that assumption that I'm going to die. Do you have like health potions or some such? I have food that I'm eating. I don't know if I have any health potions. Bur hard. Burger King Diamond says. It's hard to remember actually what heals me. Regarding the E3 Spider-Man trailer. Without knowing a lot about the universe in my end, is it possible that Mr. Negative could tombstone? Like like he could do the Undertaker's finishing move? Yeah, that's... <laughs> No, I'm pretty no. sure it's a different character from Tombstone. Yeah, Tombstone is 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 what? He's just kind of an undead slab of well, marble? Like, <laughs> well, I, I haven't read the comics since One More Day, but I think Mr. Negative is a character that has appeared in the comics who is not Tombstone. So... Swallow will, he Swallow will heal you over time. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm, I'm... I'm eating food... She's oh she's probably a specter. Shit. But I'm I'm also like right now I have booze in my in my uh, stuff and so like I'm getting as you can see I'm getting. Yeah. And as distracting as I find the ugly white spider, the game looks promising. Spiderman? Yeah. I saw, after the fact, I saw the footage of the Shocker boss fight, and it looked acceptable. Oh, okay. It wasn't a quick time fest. Nice. So... Damn it. Can you 
Can you just run away? Uh, um, no. Well, I mean, I can, yes, but I might as well die. Fuck. All right. I can do this. I can do this. I believe in me. Okay. Jack needs to kill the wraith. She spawns quickly or she drains her HP back from it. Ah, okay. Yeah, I can do this. I feel like I can do this. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put oil on my sword first because I forgot about that. Yeah. There, there's, you know, of course, like there's all these tiny little. It's all about preparation. Idio idiosyncrasies to this game where you're like, oh yeah, yeah. Put this oil on your sword. It does more damage to this specific type of enemy. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Um, oh no, that's. Oh, that's how I, I completely forgot how I sheathe my swords. What did I do there? Did I just drink something? Oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. <laughs> All right, hold on. Consumables. What? Come, come over here. Uh, Hard tree fucker says, sorry if it's been addressed. I don't catch as many streams as I'd like. Have you guys seen, talked about upgrade? No. Seems like it's right in RLM's wheelhouse. Thanks for the great content. I, I've heard nothing but good things. Nothing but good things about upgrade. And yes, it does seem like it would be schlocky good fun. Karen is not much of a moviegoer. Okay. I, it's, 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 it's a, you have a hard time finding a movie that Karen won't fall asleep during. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She will fall asleep watching things she wants to see. Of course. Let alone something she doesn't give a shit about, like Upgrade. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rich. I've, I've heard very, very good things. Isn't Upgrade the guy from Idiocracy? That was my first thought. <laughs> my first thought when I heard about Upgrade was, is this a sequel to Idiocracy? Nah, it's supposed to be great. It's supposed to be a really dumb, schlocky, you know, dude gets, you know, upgraded superpowers yeah. and d and uh, awesome dumb action. So, it's supposed to be great. Isn't it Matrix style where they download knowledge into his brain? Uh, and he gets, like, enhancements and, like and all that stuff. <clears throat> okay, we gotta put, we gotta put, sh no, uh, Spectre oil, vampire oil, cursed oil. Beasts, necrophage. Oh, is she a necrophage or a specter? Hold on. All right, hold on. Oh, bestiary. Here we go. Bestiary. All right, she is not a necrophage. Spectres. Ah, Jenny. Okay, she is a specter. <laughs> Jeff Waugh says, Jack and Rich. Yeah. I am writing a screenplay that will likely draw comparisons with, with one or two other works that I have never seen but have similar subject matter. What are your thoughts? And if I have an obligation to watch those other films, love the show. So what's what? There's there's two takes on this. Yeah. Watch these to get ideas, mm -hmm. or avoid watching them. So you make your own vision, your own story, and, without the influence of something else. What's and, the right call? Uh, both. Both? Both are, are correct ways to do it, Rich. Because, okay. you know, one, you can, you know, it, like, like, let's say, like, you know, you're trying to make a Ghostbusters ripoff. Right. And you're like, hey, I want to make, I wanna make a, 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 a movie about some schlubs who do some supernatural stuff. Yeah. You can watch Ghostbusters, uh, take some good parts of it and learn from any mistakes they made. Obviously Ghostbusters is a pretty damn good movie, but you know, you could, you could say like, Oh, I was going to do it a different way. That would have sucked compared to how they did it. And yeah. you can learn some valuable lessons. The other way to do it, you could actually stumble upon a completely new and better way to do things by not learning from the old ways. Yeah. Um, there, there's a great, uh, if, if anyone has ever read the book, uh, Freakonomics, uh, -huh. 
Uh, there's a chapter in either the first book or the second book that talks about the the world record uh, the world record holder for most amount of hot dogs eaten. Yeah. Uh, who who started who decided he wanted to join a hot dog eating competition. And he's just like, ah, it'd be fun. It's like, so he tried to teach himself how to eat hot dogs. And he started eating hot dogs really fast, and he's like, he didn't figure it out. So he was the first person that decided, oh, you know what? If I just eat the hot dogs first, then take the buns, dip them in water, and eat them separately, I can eat way faster. Because he wasn't learning lessons from other people and trying to copy other people, he found a completely different way to uh, eat hot dogs quickly. <laughs> That completely changed how the sport was played, a lot like Moneyball, right? Right. Completely changed how it was done. And so I think you just got to pick a direction and go, man. Um, on the other hand, yeah. Fortnite. What? Fortnite. It's in an incredibly successful game. Yes. Oh, so you think they were, cri <laughs> they were, they were cribbing notes. <laughs> they were cribbing notes? Yeah. But they also put their own spin on it. Yeah. So on the other hand, Fortnite. Mm. At your call, I can't tell you what to do. Yeah. Fuck you, Jenny. Come here. Jenny of the Woods. Get out. Get out of town. Jenny of the Woods. Come here. Come into my circle. Jack forgot his potions again. I didn't have any potions. What are you talking about? I put oil on my sword. I gotta deal with the, with the specters quickly now. Because they suck energy. Can you move faster, please? Thank you. Shit. As far as the morality of getting ideas from other stories, like, that's just what art does. Yeah, the, like that's it's uh, art is all about remixing and learning lessons and taking one thing you like from something and making it into a whole different thing. Absolutely. People are unavoidably influenced by other things they've seen. Yeah, and that's okay. Come on, get in my fucking circle. Come on, come on, come on, come on, move, move, move. David Eno, people, uh, in answer to your first question, uh, no. Right. And Jack, Legion Season 2? Question mark? I just finished it. LOL, fuck my Denny's hole. <laughs> All right. Uh, I just finished Legion Season 2, and yeah, it, it's good. I mean, it's still, it's still nice and weird in all the right places. Shit. Uh, shit, I'm gonna die again. I gotta figure out this whole potion thing, but I'm, I might pull this off. Oh, fuck. fuck. Uh, move. Oh, oh, oh. Am I carrying too many things? Is that my problem? Shit! Oh, I came close that time. I came close that time. Yeah, Legion Season 2 was great. Um, it finally, it finally towards the end, it started to get nice and weird again. Really, yeah. really good visuals. Um, very, very, you know, nice characterization stuff. Uh, yeah, it was good. It was a good season overall. Okay. Nice and nice and weird. Uh, kind of a, kind of an unexpected ending. I liked it. I I, I, I I dig the show. I dig the show. Can't wait for season three. I just think swallow. Tell Jack that swallow is the potion name, please. 
Swallow is the potion name. Okay. Great. Also, try using dodge instead of roll. I, there was a reason why, but it scrolled up, and I don't see it, the reasoning using anymore. Using dodge instead. Oh, it's it, like probably, I'm probably rolling too far away, and so then I, I okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I can't. Yeah. So there's a separate roll and a dodge? I don't know. It's been a while. It's Honestly, I have 30 plus hours into the game, but it's been months since I've played it, so I've lost all of my all of my uh, mojo, all of my muscle memory. I think if you just press A once, it's a dodge, and if you press it twice quickly, it's a roll. Hmm. Um, do I have to... Jack, level up your character. I know, I'm close to a new level, but... Hold on. B button is dodge, A button is roll. Oh, well then there you go. Once I realized dodge was much better, I never used roll much again. Oh, okay. Swallow. 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 I don't see swallow. What kind of GPU are we running in the new rig? Just a cheap one for the purpose of streaming. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's an MSI thirty dollar GPU. It's adorable. Yeah. It's about it's about as big as a deck of cards, and it has like a heat sink built on it. No yeah. fan. It's great. Yeah. It's a, it's it's cute. Um, <clears throat> this computer was the the computer we're streaming from, not the one we're playing the game on, was was never intended for gaming. Right. You already have Swallow Jack. Okay, okay, I'm looking. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Here it is. Here it is. Uh... Oh, okay, great. So I take Swallow, and I put it where my beer is, because my beer is not doing me any good. Okay. How many Bitcoins can it farm? Great. 20. If that. In a year. It can, it can farm 20 in a year. If that. Uh, okay. I have Swallow now. Swallow is the first in my thing. Great. Move to Hjordan. Hjordenheim? Hjordenheim. Is this a Thor game now? <laughs> you know, uh, th uh, Thor's son, Hjordan and Fjord. Fjord. Alright, we can do this. I can beat Jenny of the Woods, I believe in me. I am ready. I know what to do now. What does Swallow do? It adds a generous tip. <laughs> ah, look at Jenny in the wind. She's great. <laughs> Show me what you got. All right. I tried not to smile. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's great. That is just great. Get out of here. Where are you? Oh, man, yeah, dodge is way preferable. Thanks for the tip. Dodge the thing where you just go back? Yeah, and it still gets me out of her reach, but it keeps me in my magic circle because I can only attack her in the magic circle. So it means that I don't get so far away that um, she's unmanageable, but I can still dodge. Can you only dodge back? Not that it matters. No, I can, like, oh, dodge hey. to the side. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. Oh, shit. Shit. Get out of here! Get out of here! You're almost dead. I know, I, I'm using Swallow, but it doesn't seem to work. It's just slow. Huh? It's just slow. Yeah. You got this, Jack. I know you got this. I mean, you know, I'd like to think that I do. Hey! hey! Woo! 
did it, Jack. Whoo! Forgotten Vransword. Ooh, a Night Wraith trophy. Nice. Nice! Why is your armor red? Or that icon of the armor red over on the left side of the uh, screen? Because... Is it damaged? you need to repair your armor? Yes, your weapons and your armor get damaged okay. over time. And as they get damaged, as you can see here, my armor now has a negative three next to it. Oh my god. And so you have to buy these like little repair kits. Um, or if you go into a shop, they can repair it for you. But I have these little, like... Oh, okay. You can do it yourself. You can do it yourself, and you get the amateur repair tools. And yeah, it's... So, so stuff breaks down. Oh, wait. I think I got some new thords. Ooh, that's a good one. So does the negative mean you're taking, like, more damage than you would without armor? Or is it just... Three less than the armor normally protects. I think it's three less than the armor okay. normally protects. Okay. That's what I would assume. I actually don't really know. <clears throat> sword, steel, sword. Oh, wait, wait. So this sword is better than my sword. Nice. Great. Uh, great. I want to switch to that later. You know what? Let's meditate because I feel like. Uh, oh, nope, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Yay! Skipping. Skipping through the tulips. Tiptoe through the tulips. Let's just meditate for an hour. Ah, much better. Your armor is so shitty it hurts to wear. <laughs> Uh, you know what? <laughs> uh, I do have better armor, but this one looks cool. You doing fashion souls? Absolutely. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> I have way better armor, but this this one, it just looks cool. Can you not find better versions of that armor? You can upgrade it. Okay. You can upgrade this armor. Uh, I just don't have it upgraded at the moment. Dip to through the tulips and the new loves. Is this on sale too now on GOG? Uh, I know it was on sale on, C on Steam recently, but I would also assume it's on sale yeah. on GOG. I can't imagine that it's just, like, not always on sale, you know? Yeah. Because, uh, it's, it's old. It's not that old. It's an easy, not at all. Were you the one I got to talk to? Yeah. Greetings. What do you want? Jenny of the Woods is gone. Got rid of her. She'll not be back. No. I know how to dispatch night wraiths for good. I hit them with my sword a lot. Your reward has agreed. Works, Many hey. Thanks to yeah. Master Witcher. Peace. Well. Yeah. We just start long past. That's a great sound, by the way. Oh, level twelve! Fuck yeah! <laughs> I did. You know, like. There, th this has a very satisfying little ah! whenever you complete a quest. It's it's very like uh, you know, in, in Legend of Zelda that like da -da -da -da, when you open a chest, it's just like ah. Yeah, the chest thing's kind of annoying. In Breath of the Wild, yes, but in you the open them fairly quick in Breath of the Wild, but in some of the other Zeldas. Yes. A little positive reinforcement. Just open yeah, the I fucking the chest. Oh, I did a thing. I earned <laughs> that. I earned that fucking chest. Okay, let's see what I got here. I got points. Oh, God, I forget what I... Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. I forget what I was doing. It needs to be like the Doom Glory kill. It's satisfying, but it's quick. ha, ha, ha. God, what was I doing? Oh, I don't remember any of this. I know you keep mentioning that XCOM 2 is free to download for PS4 Plus members. I guess, I guess if you don't have XCOM 2, it, that's some good information. But I already own it on a much better platform, so you can stop telling me about it. Well, I think that what they were hoping for is much like the fact that 
XCOM 1 is on super sale on GOG. <laughs> Even though you already owned it, you talked about that. Okay, you, so. can, you can rent XCOM 2 on PlayStation Plus. That's, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> if if you are already giving PlayStation money every month uh, as a perk, uh, you can get XCOM. Too. Right. That's what they were hoping for. <laughs> Great. I don't remember what any of this does. I'm going to have to remember because I have points to spend. I'm just, you know what? I'm just not going to spend them right now. That's what I'm going to say. I'll spend those points later. Because I just don't remember. FTL is 249 on GOG. I didn't see that as part of the a part of the sale, but I guess it is. I I already own FTL on the GOGs. Damn GOG. Love the GOGs. Calm man. your tits with the sales already. <laughs> I didn't even know that one was on sale. Everything's on sale. My items have been enhanced. Razorblade Hat says, I'm just trying to raise awareness of a great game, Rich. Yeah. And you publicly shame me and tear me apart like a chicken wing. Yeah. Yeah, but it was funny. I don't <laughs> mean it personally. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, and I also raised awareness that it was available. Ooh, there you go. It was, a, it was you know what? It accomplished two things. And it was more mem me ripping you to pieces. It's far more memorable than me just saying, and XCOM 2 is available on PlayStation Plus. Now people will remember it because I tore you a new one for even bringing it up. Let's go see what this fog is about. How epic are the Steam sales? They're frequently epic. Steam and GOG sales yeah. are, are both frequently very epic. Which you can afford to do once you don't have, like, the cost of manufacturing discs or anything. Mm -hmm. It does keep it cheap. Yeah, agreed. Fast travel. Sale on all the... Yeah, it's great. Those things are great. When they're on sale. Is that Biddy still over here? Oh, she left. Rich Rich doesn't frequently tear out a chicken, chicken wings, because they're usually... The buffalo wings, they're a bit spicy for me. You're not a spicy person. Not a spicy person. Oh. You know, I'm okay with chicken wings uh, in general. It's uh, one of chicken wings are one of the most overrated. Oh, what a shit! What did I do? They're, that's one of like the most overrated foods ever. You know, there there are there are people who are just like, oh, this place has the best chicken wings, and chicken wings kind of by design are just shit food that are covered in sauce because they're shit food. <laughs> Uh, that being said, like I, I enjoy spicy foods. I, I like them a lot. And, you, know, you get a good sauce, and and it's and it's all good. And chicken wings are also like always incredibly cheap. So right, I I ain't hating on no chicken wings, but they're like, if, if well, you, I think the price has gone up in recent years as the chicken buffalo chicken wings have gotten popular. Oh sure sure, as it became a thing. As it became a thing, yes. Yeah. Used to be you had trouble getting rid of wings. <laughs> then somebody said, fuck it, we'll make a shitty chain restaurant and just lather them in crap. Yay! People <laughs> love crap! <laughs> People love getting lathered in crap. Buffalo Wild Wings, just the most obnoxious place to eat. Yes. Absolutely obnoxious. Agreed. Careful, sir. A monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist and you'll never see home again. This monster, tell me more. I've only seen it once myself. A 
that from afar and past dusk. Thought it were a man at first. Then it turned. Not as obnoxious as Denny's. No, Denny's is more depressing. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings is obnoxious. No, Denny's is depressing. Agree. Agree. Attack. Remember when it happened? A week past. And then George Webb is pathetic. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> I will not hear any shit talk on George Webb's. Cheap, greasy spoon diners open 24 hours a day. As I said, pathetic. <laughs> They, they, uh, I, I've spent many a very late night in a George Webb, and it's awesome. It's wonderful. Assume you put up the notice in Down Warren. I, twere me. Good to know someone reads them. Pay to scribe a dozen eggs to write it up. I can help for a fee. Of course. Why, even an ox don't pull a plow for free. Afraid I'll need more than an ox needs. How much are you willing to pay exactly? Oh, I've actually never done this before. Which you can uh, you can apparently negotiate your pay for killing a monster. Huh. So here here's like his base rate. Let's see here. I want to see how like let's what do I, what do I think? I think three hundred. Is a is a fair? Are you telling me? Yeah. That you are enjoying this haggling experience right now? Well, we're we're because, because you told me something much different earlier in the day. This is a different circumstance. <laughs> this is a different so, and it's also, it's also my first time coming across it. Uh huh. But this this is a. This is a, a branch off of a much larger game. Uh -huh. If the entire game was based around this negotiation mechanic, I would probably be a little <laughs> sick of it, yes. <laughs> Let's see if... Oh, that's... I simply do not have. Would a few crowns less satisfy you? This annoyance level was a little too high. You gotta ask for something more, though. How about that? Oh, master, you value your services, dear. But so be it. I'll agree to that. Good. All right, time I got to work. Where will I find this monster? Start south of here. Honestly, yeah. If if Bad. I didn't know there was a haggle option, I would do it for free because killing monsters is fun. <laughs> Chat, you'll hear what we have to say about Reketeer and Moonlighter at a later date. It's true. And we have things. We have things to say. Uh, I should fix my armor. There we go. Okie dokie. Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. Black blood. Oh. And sight and total darkness. Have we talked about E3 yet? No, never. Never. Oh, really? Huh. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. I have a new quest item. Okay. All right. It's going to be a monster here. It's going to be great. Oh, that's just a stupid drowner. I don't care about you. Yeah. 
I'll tell you, this whole dodge thing, I, I have gotten very used to rolling. And yes, uh, this dodge is a little life changing. Except for you, you suck. Okay, great. Can I meditate here? More Doom trailer watching. How many times did I watch that trailer? Uh, On stream? A couple. God. Uh, a couple. I love the fuck music. I absolutely love the music and the way they use the music. There's just so little of it. But hey, that's fine. That's why you gotta listen to it again and again. <laughs> listen, I'm not gonna hate on you and your love of the Doom trailer. I'm glad you're excited. <clears throat> Different clown marks. Guess a few individuals feed here. Strange. Corpses. Yes, very strange. I would not watch the Doom Eternal trailer on this laptop muted because the music is 90% of the reason to watch the Doom trailer. This is getting interesting. <laughs> get, with the, get with the program, people. Get with the program. Ultimate Dad Metal? It beats that crap music you kids are listening to. Oh, wow. Go listen to some more Taylor Swift, jackass. Dang, Rich. First of all, <laughs> Tasteway's pretty good. Didn't even have time to she, she's a fine pop musician. Must have been concealed. Surprised him. <clears throat> even if her entire <clears throat> shtick <throat> is, a, is a horrible <throat> insult to <throat> all musicians. Eh, she writes, you know, she, she sings some good songs. What details that I love most about the Doom trailer? It's just seeing the the new monsters, or I guess the the returning monsters from the original Doom Two. Sure. And I'm intrigued by the outfit change. Yeah, what is that going to mean? Is that just the new outfit? <laughs> Are there going to be outfit options? Is there going to be like different armor does, modes? Does that mean they're going all in on the fan theory that it's the same Doom guy from the original games? Because I'm behind that. <laughs> as much as I like the Praetor armor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good armor. Rich, the first Doom nerd. Here's here's how old I am, all right? I, 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 I was a fan of the original Wolfenstein who was looking forward to the release of Doom. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Dang it. My my no one in my family gave a shit about something being R rated. My my dad for my birthday got me Wolfenstein 3D <laughs> when I was young, too young for it. Probably probably too young for it. And I'm I'm fine. Everything was fine. How to use it? An illusion. An illusion. Find loot. This was the best gift I ever got because I had I had not heard of Wolfenstein 3D before my dad gave it to me. Ah. And it just blew my young mind. Sure, sure. Like, holy shit, it's like I'm pulling the trigger. <laughs> it was it was fucking intense, and I, I did not see it coming. It was a complete surprise gift. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Best, probably, probably best birthday gift ever. Wolfenstein? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, happy Father's Day. Did, did Dad play it at all? If he did, I, I, I didn't see him playing it. Uh, we, we did play the Sierra games together. These are neck. These are necro. Oh wait, what was I just fighting? God damn it! Draconoids. I was fighting foglets. Those are necrophages. Okay. See, this, like, and by the way, I think I do think this is a super neat part about Witcher Three. So you know, you got you got your bestiary, right? Yeah. Everything gets you know sorted into columns, and so like I was just fighting these guys, and they're pretty tough dudes. But I know now that I can use necrophage oil on my sword, and it does extra damage, yeah. and it's yeah, like you, it does, it uh, it wants you to prepare for battles. It yeah. wants you to investigate and do shit to get ready for battles, and that's so neat. <laughs> So, if we go to our oils here, use some necrophage oil. All right. David, you know, people, I know what your game is. I'm, I'm not taking the bait. Yep. We're saying you should save. Oh, I, I know I'm terrible at that. I'm terrible at that, Rich. But you know what? I'm sorry. Ooh. Ooh, look at him. He's got some guts missing. happens yeah but who knows how long ago i saved <laughs> or the game more importantly who knows how long ago the game saved for me because i haven't saved in a while i haven't saved since i haven't manually saved since before the fight of jenny of the forest so mm. let's see uh oh uh oh let's see uh where we go back uh oh let's see how far back we are what lessons we learned Ugh. Oh, okay. modern, modern gaming has taught you not to save. It's true. And I think that's sad. You know, it's... Uh, it's. Th this is the other part of me just being out of practice playing this game because I think, you know, when I'm when I'm in the groove, I just know to save. And I'm, I'm honestly not that far back, so I'm not super worried. Um, okay, so let's... Actually, I recently had that problem with Reketeer. Oh, that's right. But that's part right. of the problem was I couldn't find a save option because their menu was so <laughs> weird. The way they yes, yeah, the way the the way that uh, Reketeer is a very old game. It's not that old. It's just weirdly programmed. It's ten years old. That's an old In game. In the grand scheme of things, that mm -hmm. still should have had a better layout, button layout. It was it was an indie game. It was a ten year old <clears throat> indie game, relatively speaking. That's in the realm of old, and it's it's unusual. Quen. Okay, so you are vulnerable to Quen, and so are you. Which one's Quen? Quen is a protective shield. Okay. Rich, that game is old as fuck. No, Wolfenstein 3D is old as fuck. Pong is old as fuck. Pac-Man is old as fuck. It's relative. Reketeer is just kind of old. Yeah. It's relatively old. 